Hey, how's it going everyone? So I want to give a quick talk about React 18. Um, there is a strict mode that they introduced. And if you set up a project with like Vite, that's enabled by default. And I kind of want to ex explain a subset of the things that are provided with strict mode, which is the side effects, right? The, the use effect hook, if you're using that in your code base, what strict mode does is it's going to basically call your effect and then it Directly after it calls the effect, it's going to call the um, the cleanup function, and then it calls the effect again. Okay, so let me kind of explain that in code real quick. So you know how you have an effect, and please excuse like all this extra um, code because I'm actually going to show you a real life example of like an issue that this thing can actually catch. So in React, you'll have like an effect, and you will run some code that kind of you know, do your initialization, initialization process for that effect. And then you'll return a function to basically clean up everything that you created. And typically you use these use effects hooks when you're doing some type of side effects, such as connecting to a WebSocket server or connecting to some type of remote API or doing a fetch request. So you've probably seen this quite a bit in React, but I want to show you what happens. So I don't have strict mode enabled. If I go to main.jsx, notice that there is no strict mode wrapping app. And if I go back to my app, um, let me go here. So this is kind of this, uh, this virtual voice call room I've been kind of working on using the Agora API. But if I click join room, you'll notice everything, you know, for the most part works pretty good. Sorry, I'm kind of recording at nighttime, so super dark here. But I can leave the lobby or I can leave the room and come back. And if a user does this pretty slow, like you don't see any issues. Everything seems like it's fine. But if I were to do this pretty quick, so I'm going to join, leave, join, you'll notice that I start to get a bunch of exceptions uh, in my console. And the app is like kind of broken because there are some things that I've done in my use effect hook that aren't proper. All right. So strict mode tries to help kind of simulate connecting or disconnecting or doing the initialization and the teardown right after each other. So it should help you find and pinpoint these issues before you having to do this. Now I could have reproduced the same issue by clicking join room. And if, if I'm using like react router, I could have just hit back really quick and then forward really quick. But I just wanted to kind of show you that like now that strict mode is turned on, if I go ahead and join this room, you'll see that I'll just right off the bat, I start getting some errors. Let me just refresh real quick to make sure I don't have anything um, kind of cached. Well, let, me, let me do a restart and strict mode is on. I'm going to click join room. And again, like right off the bat, we get some errors down here and like it's showing two users. So it kind of simulated that same issue that I kind of manually did. And that's the whole purpose of this strict mode check is to help you write better code. This only runs in development mode. So when you actually deploy this to production, like you won't see this thing crash. And it took me a while to actually wrap my head around like why it's doing that and what the purpose of it is. But I do think it's actually a really great thing to have when you're writing React code. So I want to show you um, in this example, some things that I had to actually like figure out how to change to get this all to work. And let me see if I can even find like where I was doing that. So what this strict mode thing actually helped me do is that the API I'm using, the library I'm using, you can't call connect and then directly after that called disconnect, okay? So like if I were to run setup and then right after it run cleanup, it's gonna crash because you can't disconnect on this library before it's actually fully connected. So there's a couple of things I actually had to do. So strict mode helped me find that I needed to make sure that I'm fully connected. So I added this little wait here inside of connect and say wait for me to be fully disconnected. And then also when I disconnect, I had to add this weight to make sure that I'm fully connected. So I had to add those things and strict mode helped me find those bugs. But also something I had to do, and in fact, this, this approach might just kind of circumvent those wait for connection things since I'm using async await everywhere. But if I just run this, I believe it'll still cause issues because this, the cleanup is going to run directly after the setup. And then the state of my UI just gets kind of messed up. So I had to do some type of promise chaining to keep track and make sure I only run the setup or I only run the cleanup after the full setup function is done running. So 
Strict mode helped me figure out a solution to make this more resilient. And I believe what I need to do is I need to call clean up here. I think I don't know why I'm missing that clean up. Let me go ahead and uh, I have some typos here. So when, instead of just calling setup directly, I'm basically saying take a, a promise and set it equal to a, the same promise with a dot then and call setup. This is kind of like a hack I've kind of figured out over the years of how you can force promise to kind of run in a sequential order. You just basically keep on chaining on promises to an existing promise and it will force the setup to fully finish before it runs the cleanup. So let's go ahead and go back to the UI real quick. I'm going to do a hard refresh just to make sure there's nothing like potentially sitting around in state or something. So we got a fresh app. I'm going to click join room. And you'll notice that you'll see my webcam turn on real quick and then it kind of does the cleanup step of the use effect and then it runs the setup step again. So I can kind of do this as much as I want and that promise chain thing I kind of hooked together like it's going to take a while because my computer isn't that powerful but it's going to basically run all those promise chains and eventually everything will just show my one webcam and everything works fine. There's no errors in the console. Nothing is wrong and that's kind of the benefit of this strict mode check is that it really helped me write a resilient application and it helped me know that I had a bunch of underlying bugs that I would not have caught in production unless someone tested this and like clicked the buttons really fast. I hope that was a kind of a decent overview. I want to do, sh I want to show this uh, where I have this command thing set up up here. So basically I just set a variable, let it equal to promise resolve. And then I just keep on setting it equal to itself and chain a promise onto it. This is a really, really useful uh, hack in JavaScript. I definitely recommend you learn how to do it. There might be other approaches you can do to kind of get stuff to run sequentially. But the way effects work is that you can't control when this cleanup thing runs, right? React is going to call us whenever it wants to, and you can't tell it to like not run it. So this is a solution I figured out. So. If you enjoyed this little overview and practical example of the use effect um, strict mode double in invocation, let me know, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel and I've helped you learn more about React in some way. Also, be sure to join my Discord if you want to talk to me directly or have any questions. I try to uh, talk to my subscribers when they have questions. Have a good day and happy coding.